and excuse my nails yes i need a fill don't drag me hi guys it's jerica welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna be giving you like a quick mini car tour um of my new car i just got the 2022 toyota corolla um le and i'm just gonna show you guys like a quick overview of the features of the car what it looks like on the outside and everything like that excuse the wind because when i was recording outside um the wind was blowing really hard so just um ignore that i hope it's not too distracting um yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one right. so this is what it looks like it is the biggest car that i've um owned i've driven a ford focus i've had the car that i just got rid of which was a chevy sonic and chevy sonics are super tiny but uh yeah i mean it's a decent size it isn't too big but it's definitely bigger than what i'm used to so yeah i'm gonna show you guys what looks like on the inside all right guys now we're inside so i'm just gonna kind of show you what's in here from left to right so first over here you have the um brightness settings for your dash you can just turn it up and down or you can leave it like down here on um the auto which it'll um get bright on its own whenever it's dark and it'll dim during the day and then you have your um high beams down here and then you just got your standard window buttons lock and unlock uh lock all the windows so the other people in the car can't use them um this adjusts your mirror and um then you have two cup holders in each door but the thing is they only hold water bottles in the door so if you have an actual drink it has to go here okay right, and then you have your lights here i keep it on auto the cool thing about this car is it will turn your lights on and off um, depending on you know when you need them like what time of day it is so when it's dark outside it turns the brightness the bright lights on for you and then for um like when you're driving on dark roads like um you know taking back roads and it's super dark it will turn the high beams on for you and then it will detect when a car is coming forward and then it'll turn them off for you so you don't blind the person coming at you so it's really cool so you don't have to keep clicking it on and off on and off whenever you're driving on the back road so that's really nice and then right here, we got the volume buttons to turn the music up and down. This um, just activates Siri, so you can talk to her the same way you do, um, you know, using your phone or your Apple Watch. And then right here to answer and hang up calls. And then these buttons right here control the menu on the dash right there on the right. Um, it just shows you different info. So I'm clicking the right button it'll show you whenever there's something um in front of you um shows your distance for every you know single trip that you take uh don't know what all this is but just different settings i know the top one is the lane um departure assistance one and whenever you get too close to the middle line the dotted line in the center or you get too close to the line on the shoulder um it will turn the wheels and steer you back into the center of the lane so that's really nice and then right here it just has the message screen um they told me that this is where you'll see um if you have low tire pressure or you need oil change or anything like that it'll pop up up here but um i just got it so i don't have any messages right now 
and it just takes you back to the beginning screen and then you can go up and down too so it'll show you the miles per gallon different stuff in each section you can go up and down and then the okay button just lets you select whatever you're trying to change and then you just click the back button and it'll take you back so i just keep it right here and then come into the center right here um we have the screen i'll show you all that in a minute and then i just have my little phone holder right here and pop that off so you can see the air settings you just have the temperature turn the temperature up and down in here and your defroster settings this um that when you turn the eco button on it adjusts the heat in the air for you so um it just kind of gauges the temperature on its own to keep it cool enough if it's hot or warm enough if it's cold and um that just saves you um gas so you can turn that on and off and this is just your fan speed over here i just took the necklaces off the mirror so you guys can see um let's just go section by section so right now we're at the home screen and um you can set different contacts here so you can call them quickly um the audio's off nothing's playing right now you can go to your bluetooth play stuff um from your phone you can go to the radio or the um, satellite radio and if we go to menu it shows us um audio phone with all your contacts in here and um keypad the dial out or if you have different phones um connected through bluetooth you can select which phone contacts you want to look at so that's pretty cool and then you just have your apps right here this is how you turn on um the wi-fi the car does have a free trial with wi-fi um so yeah you can hook your devices up to your car and use your laptop or your tablet or your ipad or anything like that you can use um the car's wi-fi so that's cool and let's see i don't know what projection is please connect a compatible device via usb okay we're gonna leave that alone and um audio this is where apple carplay shows up so i'm gonna plug it in and see if i can still record so one second Okay, so it did work. It let me connect to Apple CarPlay. You just plug in your USB um, right down here and connect it to your phone. And here's the home screen. So you have your phone with all your contacts, um, your recent calls, and your keypad to call out. Um, you have maps on here. I use Google Maps, so this is what I use um, yeah it comes with the Toyota app on here you can listen to podcasts you can listen to Spotify um, or audiobooks and you can see your calendar so if you have anything planned you can check that on here too play your music and then the other stuff that people usually aren't too worried about the glove compartment is pretty spacious i don't have anything in here right now just the pack that the chargers came in and the um aux cord that came with the car and then a christmas card we can close that and then we have a little space down here i just have a picture of me and mom sunglasses hand sanitizer just to keep those easily accessible and come on down we got the prindle i just keep my um, umbrella hanging on it because I'm quick to get caught in the rain without an umbrella so it stays right there at all times and then um, you have your parking brake um, it's electronic so you just push that button to park and then I like this one too um, like whenever you're in the drive through line if you don't want to move oops sorry <laughs> if you don't want to move this to put it in park while you're in the drive through line if you press the brake and hold this down you can release the brake and you won't roll so that's really nice because you don't have to keep um switching it right here whenever you're waiting to move up in line and then we have the 
console right here. Just got a few things in there. I have another charger that came with the car. I have the little adapter that goes into the cigarette lighter charger port and um, some lotion and just some room spray. Champagne toast, if you know, you know. But um, yeah, and then you also have the USB-C um, port in here so you can do fast charging. It's not too big, it's actually kind of small, but it fits everything that I need to fit in here. So it's fine. All right, guys, I'm back outside the car, so excuse the wind. I know it's probably loud because it's really windy outside, but I'm just gonna show you the back seat really quick too. Um, really nice and spacious. The seats can move up um, higher than that, and it gives you a lot of leg room. There are two USB ports down here, so the passengers in the back can charge their phones, and then a little space right there. Not really sure what anybody's supposed to put there, but yep. And um, you can actually, I don't know if you can see it right there, but um, you can, there it goes, it focused. Um, you can flip the seats out um, and have access to the trunk. So that's cool. If they lay down flat, they give you a lot of storage space if you're moving furniture or anything like that. Then you have the middle cup holder right here that just pulls down um, for the people in the back. And uh, yep, they get the same um, space back here, but really the only thing that you can lay back here is like a water bottle or something. You can't actually sit drinks in the sides of the door. And this is what the back looks like. Just covering up the life plate. But yeah, I have the Ellie version, so the luxury edition not the sport edition so you can see it has a really big trunk space like it's nice and roomy in here i can literally fit in here <laughs> if i lay down i don't have anything in here right now just a jacket a package an old postmates bag that i keep junk in and then a rain jacket all right guys that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little car tour video make sure you leave me a comment down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy like little vlog style videos like this and um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already just so you don't miss any future uploads that i post and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one all right bye